Hi guys, in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to download and use the Saber Effect plugin for After Effects. What you're going to want to do to download the plugin is you want to come to the description of this video, click on the link and you should get to a page just like this. You want to come down, find the download plugin for After Effects, download for either Windows or Apple, depends what you're using. It will then download the installer for you. Um, you're going to want to unzip it and go through all that to download the After Effects plugin. If you have After Effects downloaded already, the plugin should go straight into your After Effects folder. To find that folder, you want to go to your Adobe, After Effects 2022, or whichever you're using, and then your user presets. And it should be right here. If it's not here, then you're going to need to find out where it's downloaded to, and then put it into your user presets. So now that we've downloaded our Saber Effects, and we've made sure that it's in our Effects and Presets folder, we can now come into After Effects to start editing. For the purpose of this tutorial, I have a one frame clip here that is roughly two seconds. Um, this is called a freeze frame. To do this, I uploaded a clip. I then went to the frame that I wanted, which is this, and right clicked on the clip, went to time and freeze frame. So this is just one frame frozen for two seconds. I'm using this one frame just so it's easy for me to show you how to apply this effect and some of the presets that the effect has. And then you can take what you learn from this and put it into your own videos. So the first thing we want to do actually is we're going to come over to the right here where it says effects and presets. And we just want to confirm that the Saber effect is actually working with our After Effects. So just want to type in Saber. If it shows up like this and perfect, we're just going to leave it alone and we'll be coming back to it later. If it doesn't show up, then you might need to restart your After Effects or re-download the Saber effect. Or you just might need to triple check that the Saber effect is actually in your effects and presets folder. Now that everything is ready, we now want to make a mask you'll be masking around what you want the effect to be on. So in this case, it's going to be over the hand and over the gun. To make the mask, we want to click on our clip, then come to the top here and click on the pen tool, or you can press G. Then using the scroll wheel, we can scroll in and out. And if we hold it down, we can also move it around. So if we want to zoom in, and then we can move it around. Obviously, you're going to want to take more time doing the mask than I am, but I'm going to just do a very quick mask around the hand and the gun it's not very accurate not very pretty looking but you will want to zoom in and take your time to make a very good looking mask the better the mask the better the effect is going to look there we go it's not too great we'll maybe make some little adjustments right here but that's what we got so far obviously yours will look a lot better than mine so now what we want to do is we want to copy that mask. So we're going to come to the bottom left here, click on this drop down, click on the masks drop down, and then mask one. It should already be selected, but if it's not selected, just go ahead and click on it. Then press Control plus C. Then we can put this all away. Then in the same area in the gray box, we just want to right click, go to new, go to solid. Then you want to call this whatever you want. I'm going to call this Saber Effect just because this is what I'm going to be putting the Saber Effect onto. Now with your new layer, you want to go ahead and select it and press Control plus V. This will then paste the mask that we made earlier. And what we're also going to want to do is going to come back to the effects and preset on the right hand side, click and drag the Saber Effect onto our new layer. If you've done everything correctly so far, it should look like this. A black background, a big blue line in the middle, and our mask. So what we want to do is we want to get rid of the background, and we want to put the blue bar onto our mask. So first of all, we want to come to Effect Controls on the left-hand side. Go to Render Settings. Go to Composite Settings and change it from Black to Transparent. That will get rid of the background. Then we want to go to Customize Core. Core Type and change it from Saber to Layer Mask. Now obviously because my mask isn't very good, it took about 10 seconds to do, it doesn't look very pretty. You can change the preset up here on the top left, click on the drop down, and you have a lot of different choices to pick from. So there's some here like heat, um, let's say we want to change the colour, I want a bit, of a bit of a blue fire maybe. There we go, that's our blue fire. And um, one of the things you'll notice is this green bar that goes across. This is just the application rendering out your clip. So if we press play, we'll, if we wait for this green bar actually to finish and then press play, you'll see this whole clip rendered out. And that's what it looks like. So some of them have animation to them, some of them don't have animation to them. Um, one of the things also about the green bar is if you, let's say if we change it to something else, we'll just go for ghost. 
it'll go back to the beginning again. Now it will take a while for it to render out, but you can also come over to preview and press the play button or your shortcut, which is spacebar for me, and it will start playing. But this has no animation to it, so it's actually rendering quite fast. I'll pick something else. Um, Inferno. There we go. So you press play, it will start rendering out faster than it would if you didn't press play, but you will still have to render out the whole clip every time you changed uh, the preset. And this isn't what it looks like in real time. Um, from what it says at the top right here, it says it's not real time. This is, once again, just because it is rendering out every single frame. But once it is completed, it's gone to the far right. We'll then start again from the beginning um, as a rendered clip, and you'll see what it looks like in real time. Look at that. That's pretty cool. Uh, I would suggest taking 30 minutes to an hour just going through some of these different uh, settings that you can do with the mask and all that kind of stuff. It's really cool. Some of the stuff that you can do is really, really awesome. So I'd definitely take the time to go through it. Um, some very simple settings here. And there's also some complicated ones. Like I said, I would just take some time to go through it. But that is that is basically the Sabre Effects plugin for After Effects um, in quite a quick, short video. It's quite easy to use, quite simple um, once you learn how to do it. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you like and subscribe and definitely tick that notification bell because I will be making a second video on this where I go over how to use Premiere Pro at the same time um, in a montage like video. So I'll be showing you how to track the gun, some of the more in-depth settings on um, the preset. So that'd be really cool to go through. So if that's something that you would like to see, then make sure you definitely tick that notification bell. So yeah, hope you enjoyed the video and I'll catch you next time.